Alright, so welcome back to my channel. I already have most of my face done, but I just have a couple products here that I thought we could play with. Um, some's from my Ipsy bag, and um, some I just got not from my Ipsy bag, and that sort of thing. Um, so I thought we would just sit down, play with some makeup, and see how it goes since all this is new. But yeah, so first is this, like, um, Super 8 Lip Oil. It's from Yensa. And I used it once, so we're just going to put this on and let it sit on my lips while um, we do the rest of the makeup. And then we can put on a lipstick later that I got. I think the lip oil is fine. I don't think there's anything too special about it, but it does smell really nice. So I'd say it's like an average lip oil. I think it's... Um, I think the Ulta one is a little bit better because this just feels like oil oil, but the Ulta lip oil, the coconut one, that does feel a little bit nicer. Um, so yeah, we'll just start with the eyes. I got this in my Ipsy bag. Um, I don't think I'll do full dedicated Ipsy boxes or anything anymore. Um, I think it's just easier to play with whatever I think is interesting and see how it goes. Um, so this is the Miami palette from, I think it's, uh, Shine, uh, I don't know, S-H-A-I-N-A. I can't pronounce anything, but I think it's super cute, comes with a little protecty thing. But in the pans, it looks like there's little flamingos, if you can see. So, yeah, we'll just play with this. It'll be a very neutral eye. I already have some primer on, so we're going to go in the shade... Biscayan, and that's like the lightest white shade, and we will just fluff this on the lid. That way everything kind of blends out a little bit better. And I'm actually just going to go like right down the line, so from lightest to darkest, and just use every single one of those shades to kind of blend out the crease. So then the next one is Winewood, um, and we'll see how these go. They're very dusty right now. This one seems like it's blending out okay. Alright, that one took a lot of work kind of to blend out, and that's the lightest shade so far. So we're gonna go in with South Peach, which is kind of like this burnt orange shade, and we're gonna try putting this one on next. And I'm just using the same blending brush, that way I don't have to keep going back and forth between different brushes. Um, this one so far seems to be having more pigment than Winewood, so. So these are one of those shadows that you don't want to like tap off your brush for the excess because there's not a lot of pigment on it. So, and it doesn't really fall out. I haven't seen any fallout, but just kind of pick up the shadow and then go straight on your eye because if you kind of tap it out and get rid of the excess, it, you're going to be here forever trying to build up the color. Um, and they're just blending okay. They're not my favorite, but they're all right. I mean, I don't know how long they're gonna last through the day, um, but it's just kind of taken a while to build up the color and blend it out. Okay, now we're gonna go into Cafe Cito, which is the brownish color. And I'm just going to try to keep this one lower in the crease and just kind of try to deepen it up. Alright, so this one you're going to want a more densely packed brush. So this one's still kind of a fluffy brush, but it's more of a triangular. So that way I'm just going to pack it in the crease and then I can go in and blend it out with, uh, with my fluffy brush after. But the pigment... I feel like this is a good palette for beginners because you can kind of build up the color to get where you want to be, but if I'm going to rush, this palette isn't going to be it because it takes way too long to try to build up color and blend it out. Alright, and I'll kind of show you the palette on how it, it just looks very crumbly. Um, there is a lot of fallout and dust with it, but I mean, if the shadows perform okay, then it's alright. But honestly, 
this isn't my favorite. It's just, it's not blending that well. It's not like blending in the crease as well as I want it. There's kind of like, there's darker patches with lighter patches um, with that darker shade. I mean, it looks okay, but it did take a while to blend out. So we're gonna try one of these shiny shades now. Um, I'm gonna put Everglade on the very outer corner and then Heat on um, the rest of the lid. So these two colors here at the end, it's kind of a darker silvery green as well as a kind of champagne-y orange color. And then on the very inner corner, just with my finger, I'm going to take a little bit of, let's do Porta Princess, which is just this other shade. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and just put it on the inner corner for some brightness. Yeah, so there's a bit of fallout with the um, more shiny shades, so any metallic glitter, those will have fallout on it, but um, I think the look for the eyeshadow look came out okay. Um, nothing too special, but if you like nude eyeshadow, this is kind of a good on-the-go palette. It's just going to take a while to blend out the more matte shades. So up next, I got this um, Tarte Tartiest um, Double Take Eyeliner um, Duo. So it's one side is a felt tip and the other side is um, a pencil. Um, so I'm going to take the pencil and see how it works in the waterline. So the pencil side worked alright. Um, it is a bit pokey, <laughs> probably just because it's new. But um, it'll flatten out and then it'll be fine. But it did go on nice and smooth and very dark black. Um, so now we're going to try out the felt tip side. Oh. Well, it does go on smooth so far. Well, it's kind of watery right now, so it does bleed a little bit. Um, so maybe once it dries out, it'll be a little bit better. But yeah, um, we're going to try just doing a wing with it now. We'll see how that goes. Alright, so is it perfect? No. Um, I think it's just because I was trying to hold this and do it when usually I have just like that back mirror and I can just rest my arm on a table. It's a little bit easier. Um, it was alright. It did go on very black and I mean, there's no, it doesn't like peek through the other eyeshadow or anything like that. It's very opaque. So I think it's okay so far. We'll see how it lasts and see how I guess it does during the day. But I think this is actually a pretty good deal because you get two in one. So, and I think the price of it, I got that in my Ipsy bag. So it's $24. So usually just one eyeliner, like a high-end eyeliner, is $24. And this one you get a pencil and a felt tip. So I think it's a pretty good deal for that. And then the next one I have the Ciate Triple Shot Double XL Mascara. I don't know if I've already tried this or not. Let me check. I have not. I tried their... Um, I tried their Wander, Wander Wand, London Wander Wand, I don't know. It's like the one in the silver tube. So I haven't tried this one, but I did really like their other one. So hopefully this one at least has a similar formula. So we'll just see how it goes on the actual lashes. I actually think I really like this. Like, this makes your lashes look really nice. Like, I haven't felt this good in a mascara in a while. Um, I don't know, I've just been trying out just like mediocre mascaras that just kind of do the job. But this one, I feel like it makes your lashes more voluminous. They lengthen them. It's really um, 
nice. I'm surprised. All right, so last up is this Dose of Colors um, liquid matte lipstick. I've never tried a Dose of Colors liquid lipstick, so I really wanted to try one, and this one is in the color um, Play It Cool, so it won't completely match this look because this is more of a purpley um, color, but it'll be fine. So it is kind of just a little bit see-through, so I'm just going to have to go in mainly on like my like bottom lip and just put more product on there because it you can still see my other um, my natural color through it so you'll just have to build this one up a little bit more it's not quite like a Jeffree Star lipstick where it's more um, I guess one quote like one coat and done kind of thing this one you do have to add a little bit more product but so far it feels comfortable. I think it actually looks pretty nice so far. It hasn't dried down all the way, so I'm not sure what it will feel like in a couple minutes, but we can talk a little bit more while it's going. Um, I did get a hand cream um, that I wanted to see if it was good or not. This is from Cella, C-E-L-A, um, by Celine um, Tar Tardrisi. I can't pronounce any names today, but this is, um, it says it's the very best cream rose kind of lotion. So I'm not too big into rose scents, but I just wanted to see um, how it would be. It's actually not that bad. It's like a vanilla rose, so it's not overwhelmingly like flower. So I think it's like a good medium. There's kind of like a scent of soap in it, if that makes sense. So like a vanilla rose soap. I'm just going to put some on my elbows. Kind of put it everywhere. It's not a very thick lotion. Kind of like a thin, more water-based instead of, I guess not water, like gel-based one. So it kind of feels like that. Um, but yeah, it's okay. Um, I think it's just more for scent, not really to really I guess help too much. Let's see. So I'll just read what the back says. It's a uh, aroma with notes of sweet dra jasmine, peach, and rose water, enriched with Canadian botanicals, um, oils, and other things to help hydrate and soften the skin. So we'll see how it goes. I think it smells pretty nice and kind of light and fragrant. And then the last thing I bought here is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Um, I have never tried this, and I have pretty much always wanted to try it. But I think I want to try to do that hack where you put on like the powder and then setting spray and whatever that's been going. I don't have a TikTok, and I never will. But um, I can see what that video is and see if that makes my makeup last long through the day, but we're just going to try this setting spray. Okay, right away I don't like the spray thing. Mm, it comes out very like, not big clumps of, I guess, like blotches of setting spray, water, oil, whatever, um, but it's not very like like a MAC Fix Plus spray is. Um, this is a little bit of a heavier spray, so I don't really like the spray, but we'll see if it lasts, makes my makeup last longer. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you kind of enjoyed me just playing with some random makeup to see how it goes. Um, I will put in the description box how all these things lasted. It's like five o'clock right now, um, so I'll keep this on probably till midnight. You'll get like six hours of wear see how it is, and I will let you guys know down below, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.